Hi, it's Leanne, and today we are making strawberry shortcake for two, or for one if you want to divide the recipe in half. We're using a sweet biscuit topped with fresh whipped cream and strawberries. Nothing says summer more than strawberry shortcake. Join me in the kitchen as we make small batch recipes with big taste. All right, so what is a shortcake? Well, a shortcake is a biscuit, but better. Now, it's definitely more biscuit than cake, but I guess they decided that shortcake sounded better than short biscuit. Now, I know that a lot of people make their strawberry shortcake with pound cake or angel food cake, but real strawberry shortcake needs to be made with a flaky sweetened biscuit, and that's how we're making it today. We're gonna start by combining our dry ingredients, and we are going to use a cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna use one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Now, and then one tablespoon of regular sugar. Now, if you prefer, you can use all brown sugar or all granulated sugar, but I kind of like the combo of the two. We're gonna use a teaspoon of baking powder, which is gonna give our biscuit some lift. And then we're gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Then butter. Yeah, that's an important ingredient. I've got a quarter a cup of chilled butter here, okay? Now I have chopped it up into little cubes to make it easier to incorporate. And to incorporate it, you can either use a pastry blender or your hands. And you wanna just break up that butter until you get like a nice little small pebbly sand consistency. And I honestly just find it easier to use my hands and just kind of with my fingers smush that butter into the dry ingredients. Now it's okay if you still have little tiny little kind of pieces, chunks of a butter in there because what's gonna happen is as it bakes, that butter's gonna melt, give off a little steam, it's gonna help make a flakier biscuit. It's kinda like when you make a pie crust, it's okay to have those little tiny pieces of butter still in there. It just makes for a flakier biscuit or crust. So last step is we're gonna add in a third of a cup. And now I am using heavy whipping cream because um, I just think it makes a better, more tender biscuit, but you could just use regular milk or half and half, but whipping cream is the best. We're just gonna mix that together until our dough starts to come together. Now, one of the tricks with a biscuit is, is you want to handle the dough as little as possible. Um, the more you handle your biscuit dough, the tougher your biscuit is gonna be. So for a light flaky biscuit, it is better to handle it as little as possible. But you're gonna have to, I just like to get my hands to kind of get in there and pull my dough together just until all the dry, because it is quite damp, but it just needs your hands to get in there and bring it together. Now our dough has come together nicely. Now the great thing about this recipe is if you only want one strawberry shortcake, you can totally divide this recipe in half and just make one. But today I'm making two so I could share with Jim. And I'm just gonna take this dough and kind of just, now here you can make them round, you can make them square whatever shape you like, but I'm just gonna kind of make them into a um, rectangular shape. And they're about an inch thick, okay? And then we're gonna take some of that leftover whipping cream or whatever you were using and just brush the top with it. All right. And then we're gonna sprinkle because we're just gonna add a little extra sweet. This, this step is totally optional. I think it makes it look prettier and tastes a little bit better. And I just have some raw sugar here, some coarse raw sugar, and I am going to sprinkle that on top. And then we are gonna pop them into our oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 13 minutes or until they start to turn golden brown on the top. All right, our shortcake is done. It is lightly golden brown. I've already cut one open. I like to use as just a serrated knife, like a bread knife to slice it open. And then, whoop, it is so tender. It's like fall apart tender. Um, place that on our plate. Now I'm gonna put some sweetened whipped cream, which I left in the refrigerator. Let me grab it. And here we go. To make your sweetened whipped cream, um, I use about a quarter to a third of a cup of heavy whipping cream. Add in one to two teaspoons of sugar, a splash of vanilla, and just whip it up till it's nice and soft. Now, of course, you could always add ice cream on this, or if you have to, you could use whipped cream out of the can. So we're just gonna dollop on some whipped cream and just make, if you like a lot of whipped cream, use more. 
And then we're gonna take some freshly sliced strawberries. Now, strawberry season is just starting here in Oregon. These are the first berries to come on, so this is like the perfect summer dessert. You can put the top on. We can add a little bit more whipped cream if we want. A few more strawberries. Now you can also make this with raspberries, blueberries, whatever your favorite berry is. Look at that, doesn't that just scream summer? This biscuit though is so good, it just on its own. It's tender, it's soft, it's sweet. It's so good. So thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. Make sure you check out some of my other small batch recipes, dessert recipes especially, down below. And I'll see you in the next video.